Hi, I'm Chris Dunlop, and this is The Boises. This is overexposure on purpose. So we're talking exposure today and we're gonna try and take an awesome overexposed photo. So I'll just show you on the camera now what overexposing looks like. Hit this button and the more I press this ISO number, eventually we get so white that you can't see anything even if I come right up to the camera. First thing's gonna be using this white set of drawers with a white background. And once again, one idea is, is using this white ram's head. And so taking some photos with this, maybe sticking some sunglasses on them or something just to get contrast. So I'm gonna give that a go, see what it looks like. So the photos are kind of cool, but then I realized that when you're overexposing a photo, the ram's head's good, but because it's white, the only thing that was really coming into focus was the sunglasses. So I've got this teapot, can of Coke, and a glass. I want to see if pouring the Coke, pouring the Coke first into here, and then from here into here, hopefully you won't be able to see See my arm and it will maybe look like invisible coke pouring into an invisible glass. That's the theory. So I'm gonna give that a go. All of this coke pouring into a jug's made me thirsty. Cheers. Oh, it's flat. So I've taken quite a few shots overexposing things. They are, they are quite hard to take because, you know, they're really, really bright. So you've obviously got to get that contrast in. Today's been like one of those days when you go for a hike in the bush and you get really excited and you, you see a cool little trail that goes off and then you're like, oh, I'll follow that. There might be a waterfall I can hear. So you run down the trail and then you get to the waterfall and it's amazing. You swim around. Once you leave the waterfall though, you go back to find the track and you can't find it. That's what's happened to my camera settings. I'm not bantering, I'm so new and I've fiddled with so many different things getting these overexposed shots that I don't quite know how to get it back to default. I gotta go read the manual. Yeah, so that's, that's it for overexposing shots. Next time, tune in as we go into the dark world of underexposure. Bom, bom, bom.